Hello friends, uh, uh, welcome to Bath Hymns again. Today we'll uh, learn how to make uh, the kulfi at home. This very very uh, you know simplest way and uh, all uh, all items or uh, the ingredients available at home. So uh, to make the kulfi at home, so a very basic things are required. The first is kulfi mold. A pot where you are going to you know put the uh, milk for stirring and the boiling and then one uh, wooden wooden spoon and then one liter milk uh, it should be a cream milk uh, that will be good but I am having a mul taza milk at home so I'm using the same one uh, dry fruit powder uh, you can use uh, the mixed dry fruit as also but I'm also making use of this and also one cup of uh, sugar then five to six uh, five to six number of um, cashew nuts then pista five to six uh, nuts and then cardamom uh, seeds you required so you just take a five to six uh, cardamom seeds as per your request then saffron so saffron plus uh, uh, I'm getting a pinch of water or one spoon of water to make this saffron uh, you know uh, get good colored so I'll just pick up one or uh, two uh, saffron uh, leaves and put into the milk so it will get uh, you know uh, it will get good color for your coffee so let's prepare for you know uh, prepare from milk so i'll just pour this milk into the pot and start uh, start the you know flame at high level and uh, then start stirring so i just poured the meal and milk and you know uh, put in the pot to get it hot so at uh, medium flame for now and uh, keep stirring it till it get uh, the half of uh, it content so you know once first cream comes out or first layer of cream comes out so we'll we'll you know uh, we'll put we'll start putting some ingredients in it so if we can see uh, uh, the first uh, cream coming out and uh, let's put uh, some additional stuff now so I'm just putting uh, a cup of sugar in this so make sure that you should add this uh, the sugar as per your requirement because when uh, when sugar get uh, uh, mixed with uh, milk uh, so it will dissolve itself and also uh, when uh, when you have when the, the milk get boiled uh, it's half of way you know so it will also uh, it will also add its own sugar so make sure that you should add uh, the correct amount of sugar as per your taste so i'm just putting the half of uh, half of the requirement so it will meet my you know, it will not make make the kulfi as a uh, more sweeter so uh, I'm just adding few more ingredients uh, in it. So we have a uh, cardamom seeds in it. So you can use those to add now. So if you can see, so sugar and uh, this cardamom cardamom seeds should get boiled together. So it will give a good taste at the initial level and it will get the mix, the taste mix with uh, the milk itself. Once you add this, then you can add, uh, uh, if you have a, a dry food powder, so you can also add those uh, two tablespoons, teaspoons in it so I just added two teaspoons of uh, 
the dry fruit powder and the uh, most awaited item that I have not included yet so the condensed milk is uh, one of the most important ingredients the condensed milk is most uh, important ingredients in this uh, kulfi so while making the kulfi the condensed milk also makes an importance to you know get it thicker to for eating purpose so for now I don't have anything at home uh, or the milk powder milk powder should work but for a change I have uh, uh, the you know the left left off of uh, you know uh, this prawn and powder <laughs> you might you guys might get love but I'm using this prawn and powder at the two tablespoons or two spoons of this so I just added that so two spoons of this prawn and powder will you know make uh, make this kulfi thicker and once uh, the the milk get started boiling you keep stirring this now till it get fully boiled and uh, you know keep the half in then we'll add for the more ingredients uh, on the cashew nuts cashew nuts and pista and the uh, and the kesher which we kept for a rinsing purpose so it will give a good color of it okay so let's wait for you know this uh, milk get boiled so we will start stirring again okay, we'll keep stirring till, till that time so once uh, milk get boiled uh, just pour uh, this kesher mix uh, water or milk you, you just poured it so I'll just mixing it uh, together and just putting everything in this make sure that uh, you should put everything out of the cashew and uh, the uh, the cashew nuts in this so it will get good taste to your kulfi and uh, I'll just add those directly into the other uh, boiling boiling milk so this will give a good taste now you can add something uh, or some cashew nuts at the top of the kulfi while serving as well but uh, let's keep stirring this till it get you know uh, the half of the content now so now if you can see uh, my um, milk and its mixture uh, like exactly halfway eh? Now you can stop the uh, heating the milk and uh, you can see it it's getting a thick layer like basundi. Now you can what you can do you can just uh, stop the uh, gas window and uh, just keep it uh, just keep getting cool. Once it is cool uh, you can pour it into the mold itself directly and uh, just keeping it in mold for four to five hours that will give a clear uh, the mixer so i'll just i'll just show you how once it is poured and uh, we'll keep it in free refrigeration for uh, four to five hours and then you'll enjoy the coffee yeah thanks so uh, once it is cooled down to the normal room temperature uh, just pull it into the mold and uh, keep for uh, refrigeration for four to five hours and uh, just keep it cool and just check whether it is prepared for prepared or not so once you're done with uh, the, the cooling and you can simply you know pull out the cool free from the mold and it's ready for eating now so enjoy cool free in a summer vacation thank you thank you for watching this video